There are various tasks that you will need to perform as a K2 app administrator. These include managing the members of the application administrators list, inviting users to use your application, determining if the app should appear with a link to it in the favorite apps workspace, along with configuring other settings like sizes, colors, and titles of forms. In some apps, you may also need to manage groups of approvers for certain user tasks in the application's workflow. I'll touch on that in a moment. Now, the Application Administrators and Settings tab under the Administration area for an installed K2 app is where you can manage most of these items. Near the top of the page, you can click the Invite Users button to open a dialog that lets you send a quick email notification to users that you want to have use the application. You can customize the subject and body of the message, as shown here, also, be sure to select a link to the appropriate application form that you want these users to click on when using your application from this email message. This setting could be a link to any form in the app. In this case, I'll select the landing form. Moving down this page, you can also choose which users you would like the message to go out to. If a user is a member of your network, you can use the lookup control to find that person, then click the add button where an entry will be added to the email list below. You can also enter a valid email address on the list called Specify an Email Address and click the Add button. When you're ready, you can click the Send Notification button at the bottom of the form. When this message goes out, these users will see a message like this in their email inbox. You'll notice the form link that we selected in the body of the message here. To add a link to the application in the Favorite Apps Workspace menu, you can click the Add to Favorites button shown here. Before doing this, make sure to customize the title you would like to display as needed. To demonstrate, shown here is my favorite apps workspace with a couple other apps linked under the application's menu grouping. To add the expense claim application here, all you have to do is click on the Add to Favorites button in the Administrators and Settings page for that app. Upon doing that, let's go back over to the favorite apps workspace, refresh the page, and there, you can see a link for the expense claim app appears as entered. Moving on, you can also manage the administrator list on this page by adding, editing details, or deleting members of the list. When adding a member by clicking the Add button, a row entry opens on the list where you can use the lookup control to search for another employee in your organization. I'll add Cody by searching for her. Then click the Save button to complete the operation. At this point, the link to the administration pages for this app will appear on Cody's view of the app's landing page, and she will be able to perform all of these tasks as well. Below this area are more app settings that you can manage as needed. In here, you can change form sizes, colors, and titles, amongst other things. Be sure to use caution when making changes to some of these settings in the app settings list. These changes may cause the app to stop working. Do not change these settings unless you are sure of the change you are making. The last thing we'll take a look at is how to edit task recipient lists for an app's workflow. When you install an app using App Wizards, you typically have the option to customize user tasks in the workflow. One way, you can allow your users to enter recipients for a task on the request or submission form, or you can designate to set it up so that a list of task recipients is defined by an administrator and it can be managed in the administration area for the app. In this example, I stated that I wanted to have a list of users for the expense claim approval steps when walking through the installation wizard. The list for these user tasks can be found in the lookup settings area near the bottom of the page. These lists work the same way as when you want to add an administrator to the app. You can add, edit, or delete users from these lists as needed. When these steps fire off in the workflow, users in these lists at that point in time will all receive approval tasks. Now, for pre-built applications that don't use the wizard for creation, like this employee onboarding app, User task lists for these workflows may be found on their own tab in the administration area. For this application, notice the Reviewer Detail tab at the top. You can go in here to manage the users for each task in the workflow for this application the same way. 
For more information on how these settings work, you can go to help.k2.com to learn more about administering apps in the K2 application framework.